Okay, folks, today what I want to talk to you about is low pressure gas coming in from the evaporator after it's picked up the heat, and how the heat is injected outside here, how we bring our low pressure refrigerant into the compressor, and how we eject the heat from the house. So let me point out a couple things. This is the suction line. You see how sweaty it is, which is the way it's supposed to be. It's coming in, it's going in through the compressor. Going through the compressor and it's compressing the low pressure vapor into a hot high pressure gas. It's coming out as a high pressure gas and I've got, I want you to see this, I've got the temperature probe on the lead coming in from the compressor going right into the top of the condenser. Okay, so what's the temperature here? Temperature entering the condenser is 135. That's high pressure compressed gases and as you put your hand up here you'll feel a lot of heat coming out so let's move this probe down I'm gonna move it down about halfway down the coil and I'm gonna move it approximately one two three four five five probes down okay now what's the temperature it's down to 109 so we went from 135 to 109 so as this gas is going around the coil, as the heat is being ejected, taken off the refrigerant, the temperature is dropping. Let's go to the bottom of the coil. Now we're going to go to the very bottom of the coil. Now what? The temperature has dropped another, what's that, 11 degrees. So it's went from 135 to 96 totally. It has dropped a total of about 39 to 40 degrees as this high pressure gas going through the condenser, going down all the way as it comes out the very bottom, goes back into the house as a low pressure gas. If you have any questions about how the condenser really works, just give us a call. The point I want to make to you is that if the unit is working correctly, you should be able to take these measurements and you should have a, a pretty large increment difference between the top of the coil to the bottom of the coil. If you don't, you have some sort of restriction or there's some other issues with the refrigerant possibly. If you have any questions, just give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Please share, please subscribe, and comment. I will get back with you. 